Okay, YouTube. Uh, the trailers are uh, pretty much finished. I just have to do one, one last thing. I want to be good. Um, I painted the sides red. The gates. I think they look pretty. Had a pretty good touch to it. Um, it. It's an okay see okay sized trailer it's it's just for a little kid but my trailer tongue here does not go far enough out and uh, I need to make it longer because I tried it on my friends brothers little brothers uh, cover tractor and I'll show you how far I got on to my shed um, plowed a lot when we got a lot of snow but it just hasn't been taking videos lately because I've been doing midterms and, and uh, school. But, scooter right here. As I said before, I was getting a two horsepower engine from my uncle. But he did not have the weed whacker engine. Um, I don't know what he... He said he had, had a weed whacker engine It was 50 cc's, but... He only had like 25 cc one. Got a clutch on it. It starts up in about five or six pulls, which is not bad because it's cold out. I got a throttle hooked up. I should have it right going by uh, Saturday or Sunday of this week because uh, I went to a place for chains and bearings and all that fun stuff and the, the wheels not on now but when it is on uh, I'll get the uh, sprocket hull hooked up um, then chain on it then I gotta build a seat me and my friend have always talked about doing a uh, really redneck thing just build something now don't even worry about painting it I'm not even gonna worry about painting this but the nicest thing on it is probably the handlebars I like the handlebars you know throughout it works and it's not a very high revving engine I think I forget where the tag on it said here, it should be right here it says I can't read that I know what RPM. I don't know what RPM. It's two horsepower though. 109 cc's and all that fun stuff. I haven't started the wheel horse. Haven't started the sears for a while. Mini bikes are right. Um, I bent the handlebars forward. The frame is not a sears runabout, so um, I heard that's like what everybody wants now. Is one of those sears runabouts, and it's not because. Their frames, my frame goes like their their frames go out and that, so it's basically the opposite would be, you know, it's flipped around. Uh, that's about it. I got a torque wrench from my uncle and he gave me all kind of tools. Another welding helmet. I already have one over there, but I'll show you this one weld I did. These welds. I had to mount the engine up a little bit higher. Uh, that's I didn't remove the slag off that one. That's not even a that's not even a good weld. You see that one? I had to get the engine up higher so I could uh, tighten my bolts. I had my friend cut me angle iron, but that's a pretty nice weld right there. It may not look nice, but it's it's pretty darn good. I had to gap it. I had about a quarter inch gap, so I just made my puddle and just reheated my puddle every time to get that up like that so you want to like I did C pattern because you can't really do a circle because you just uh, miss your puddle again so I did a C pattern like that and just kept reheating my puddle and uh, it worked out really good it's probably my best weld on there this thing ain't going anywhere anywhere anyway so so I did have a twist grip but there's too much friction friction in the line 
I had to replace the pull starting cord and that's about it. You just gotta make a seat and uh get the chain on and the sprocket. It should go about the same speed as my mini bike with a two horsepower engine because I got like a forty five tooth sprocket, so uh that's about it. So I'll post this video on and tell you a little bit more about my uh scooter. So, okie dokie.